Okay, still having issues with the uh, uh, carburetor flooding out. I'm gonna have to get a rebuild kit for that thing. Okay, I got a little bit better lighting now. It's gonna show again how the setup is on this. This is a vertical shaft engine on a go-kart. I got a 40 series. Um, I don't think it's Comet Clutch, it's the, or Torque Converter, whatever you want to call it. Um, on here I think it's the Chinese knockoff. And the only thing I did wrong on here is a 30 series driven clutch back there. Um, we're getting the 40 series here soon because it, it's uh, tearing up belts. Um, said belt runs back to the driven clutch on the uh, jack shaft. Goes from there. Um, there's a sprocket chain which runs to the uh, actual lawnmower uh, gearbox. I did have the larger of the two gears on the gearbox and uh, I mean things just super torquey and I figured what the hell I'd switch it around and uh, put it the other way get a little bit more speed and I could tell a big difference um, it's still so damn torquey right now I'm thinking about doubling the size of that pulley on the jack shaft to uh, give it more speed now if you can see here that cable or well, that rod there that's uh, running down to the brake here on the uh, gearbox or you see the uh, shifter set up uh, you can see in my first video basically how that was set up that's just a piece of threaded rod I'm actually going to change that uh, the threaded rod is just too flexible um, I just want some good uh, just cold roll piece of steel to run up there to the shifter but for now that's working fine um, like I said this motor mount cobbled together from about 10 different pieces of metal I had around the shop um, this motor mount right here probably weighs 50 pounds by itself. A very, very heavy go-kart. I'd say it's probably, I've had to lift up the back end of this. Uh, All together, this thing's probably about 300 pounds. Very heavy. And I mean, for it to perform the way it does, you know that it is very torquey. All right. To be continued.